so hey there guys so today's video is going to be another makeup and chill Fridays um, I usually film these every Friday because I'm always usually off from work I'm actually off for the next two Fridays after this as well because I just got my schedule yesterday so I'm just gonna be priming my eyes while I'm talking cuz always speeds up the process a little bit more I'm sorry that this that this video was so long last time but there were a lot of new products I was trying and I really wanted to share my thoughts about everything so if it was a little bit too long for your taste I'm sorry um, but I just really like recording long videos and I usually have a lot to say and this is the only time I really can talk about makeup is on YouTube I don't really have friends that love makeup as much as I do. Oh, forgot, like, before I do my makeup, I have to tweeze my chin. Um, but I'm just going to do my eyes right now. So, I'm supposed to see my boyfriend today, but I haven't heard from him yet. I did text him, like, a half hour ago, and he didn't respond, so... I'm just going to set down that primer with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter. I'm just going to take the left side. I've been doing that pretty much every day. Um, it's just this right here. It's so pretty to set your, your eyes. And this is the mirror that I always use in like every video. Um, so today, um, I'm going to be using a throwback palette. I was going to use the newer palette that I picked up. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit hot because I put a sweater on and a shirt. So it's a little bit warm in my room. Um, so I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And the reason why I'm going to be using this palette is I actually have been grabbing for it and using my Urban Decay Naked palettes more. I actually have used all of them recently. This is the only one that I haven't used lately. So I really wanted to dive back into it and use it again. Um, I forgot to grab my spray for my brushes. Let me just grab that real quick. Um, so if you guys don't know, I really like watching the YouTuber named Exo Marley. I said that really weird, but she is adorable. And she's been doing a series using the Urban Decay Naked Palettes. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check it out. But it kind of inspired me to pull out my Naked Palettes. So this is the last one I have to use. And I basically used um, all of them the past like two weeks. I used the Naked 2 on Monday. I used the Naked 1 last two Fridays ago, I believe, in the Makeup and Chill Fridays before the one that I posted. Actually, maybe, I know I filmed with it. Maybe I used it two weeks ago. Maybe I, I've used all of them within like the past two weeks. I'm going to find out real quick. Hold on. All right, I get. I guess within the past yeah. two weeks because, um, oh my God, Caitlin. Sorry about that. Um, but I posted this one on March 1st, so I think I used the palette the same day. So I, I used the Naked one, then I think I used the Naked Cherry before that, and then I used the Naked Heat after that on like Monday I believe of that week and then I used the Naked Cherry palette again to when we recorded our Holy Grail makeup products video and then um, I used the Naked 2 um, recently so we're just going to use this palette today I'm not going to use anything else because I really want to utilize the shades in here so there's some pretty good crease shades in here and honestly when you guys you guys know when I and what I like about the Naked three is that you can fold it all the way back just like the naked one I don't know if the naked two does that but it is nice that you can fold the palette all the way back um so I'm just going to be taking these transition um these crease shades I don't really need a transition shade because this is a really beautiful crease shade so I'm just going to use the shade limit and I'm going to put that in my crease because I'm only going to use about five shades out of here today but I am going to smudge colors on the lower lash line as well Actually, let's switch this around. Why am I so discombobulated already? Okay. Let's put this over here so we can actually use it. And I'm just going to take my usual crease brush. I switched between this one and the Too Faced brushes that Chip got me. I love her. 
and I love the brushes that she got me, so thank you, girl. I do try to try to use them as much as I can. Why am I talking so weird today? I do try to use them as much as I can. So let's get started. So I'm going to take that shade Limit, and I'm going to coat my brush with it. Um, let me move my bag so I don't get eyeshadow all over it. Um, so I'm just going to throw that in my crease. Also, it's a very light shade, so you don't really need a transition shade because... Um, like I said, it does build up really nicely. And since I'm doing a pretty light makeup look today anyway, I don't really need to put on a transition shade because this is literally only go to go to his house and back. We get, we go get food and then we just chill at his house for the rest of the night. So I'm just going to put that in my crease. Oh God. Every time I actually use this palette. I remember how good it is. Like the Urban Decay Naked formula is so good. In the first four palettes, the Cherry palette, the formula is definitely different. Um, I don't know if I love it as much as the original ones, but the colors in that palette are so pretty that it just makes me use it so much. And that's like why I've been using that Naked palette the most over the other ones. So the Naked 3 palette was my first neutral palette that I ever purchased. My first high-end palette back when I was about 26 or 25. So it was only when I was like, only like five years ago. So that's how long I've been like collecting and using makeup or really have been obsessed with it. Cause I would always use makeup before that. Oh my God, this color looks so pretty. See, that's like all I need in my crease. So now for the defining shade, I'm just going to clean this off real quick. So I did um, use the Beauty Bakery palette yesterday, and you guys will see a first impressions on that. Bef way before this video is up, I'm just waiting for my Lime Crime order so I can haul it. So I'm going to take the shade Nooner on my Too Faced brush, and I'm going to define the crease with that shade. Oh. God, they're just so easy to use. Um, so yeah, this was my first high-end palette that my boyfriend got for me in Christmas of 2015, I believe. Or maybe it was 2014. But this was the palette I used all the time. But I only used it for about three months, and then I got into other neutral palettes. Um, that's when I started purchasing the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes because I had this from like December 25th till like February 14th and it was like the only neutral palette I had so I would use it all the time and then I would use the um, electric palette if I needed to do any colors because um, he had got me that palette too for Christmas. I'm just building up that color gradually. Gradually. Okay, so that's good for that. I kind of feel like doing an outer corner shade today. So I'm just going to take the shade Liar right here, and I'm going to put that in my outer corners. It is a bit shimmery, but it's light enough that I feel like it'll be really pretty with this look. So I just want to use that in my outer corners. Oh, so gorgeous. I just want a little something-something in my outer corners. So then I started collecting the Too Faced palettes on literally Valentine's Day of, um, I think, 2015. And he had bought me the Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar for Valentine's Day. And then I literally got, and I'm kind of doing an outer corner because I kind of want it on the lid too with that little bit of shimmer. Um, but he had, um, why is my hair in my face right now? I swear, even putting up your hair, my hair still loves to have a mind of its own. And for some reason, it just plays with me all the time and it drives me nuts. Um, why is this side always so much harder to get product on? So he got me the semi-sweet chocolate bar. And then I purchased the chocolate bar palette literally the day after he got me the semi-sweet. So I think I had used the semi-sweet palette that day. 
I think, I can't remember if he, if I had used it that day or I used it the next day. But like pretty much every Valentine's Day now when I do a Valentine's Day look, I always use the chocolate bar palettes just because they're so Valentine's Day-ish to me because they're hello, they're chocolate. That is some wild outer corner again, but that is the beauty of doing your eyeshadow first is that you can always clean it up afterwards without messing up your foundation or concealer. All right, I do want to use my finger just a tiny bit. I think that's better. I can't even tell. Okay, and then for the brow bone, I'm going to go in with the shade Strange, which is the only matte white in the palette and I'm going to put that on my brow bone. My brow bone has been looking so much better lately because I finally decided to clean up my eyebrows yesterday. Um, So yeah, so I used the Beauty Bakery palette yesterday and I really wanted to use it again today but I decided I should go back to a throwback palette because every Friday I really do like going back to a, at least a, a throwback palette. The only other naked palette that I have to use is the Ultimate Basics palette. That one's one of my favorites as well for matte shades. I was kind of thinking about incorporating it into today's look, but then I was like, no, I just want to use the naked palette today. So I'm just going to throw on my glitter glue. I don't think I've even used this palette with the glitter glue, or maybe... I used it once or twice, but I really don't get to use this palette as much as I used to be able to use it. Um, just because I have so many palettes that I've been testing out the past couple of months. Because after Chip got me our Makeup Swap palettes, so those were like the only palettes I was using. The Huda palette, the Natasha Denona Star palette, and the um, Cherry palette from uh, Urban Decay. Obviously, I've been talking about that palette this whole time. And obviously it's a naked palette, but, um, so I'm just going to take my glitter glue, um, but yeah, just, this formula is so good, so good, you guys. Okay, so that's all we really need for that. Um, what shade do I want to use on my lid? I'm kind of really, re really, um, leaning towards, reaching for, I was going to say, I'm leaning towards Buzz or Burnout. Um, if I use Buzz, it'll be a pretty rosy, pinky look. Um, but I think that's the one I want to use. Um, I used Limit in the crease. I darkened the crease with Nooner. I put Liar on the outer corners, and then I used Strange on my brow bones. That's all I've done. Don't worry, the crease is not going to stay like that. I'm going to fix it in a minute. So now I'm just going to take Buzz. Hmm. And I'm going to put that all over my lid with my finger. Ooh, -hoo. ooh, that is so pretty with your with a glitter glue. I'm telling you guys, if you need um, a lid shade to perform better, always put a glitter glue on before. It'll help any eyeshadow. That is stunning. Oh my god, that's so pretty. I mean, I've always loved this palette, but some people say like the shades in here are a bit lackluster for the shimmer shades. But with the glitter glue, that is really pretty. It looks like fairy dust on your lid. I've been really, really leaning towards the pinkier shades in the Naked palettes lately. But I don't get to do rose gold looks enough. And again, I hope my skin looks better to you guys because I've been using better skincare. Alright, so that is it for the eyes for now. And that shade came out beautifully. Um, so now I'm just going to clean up the under eyes and go tweeze my chin hairs and then we'll work on the face. Sorry, I had to blow my nose again. 
So for my face, I'm just going to do what I usually do, take my NYX first base primer, always. And then for primer, I'm going to take the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I really love this um, primer. I feel like I should be able to use it up at some point. Um, but it just is a really smoothing primer, and I saw Amy Macedo use it in her full face of Maybelline, and I think she got me to get this primer. And also, one of the girls in CVS recommended this primer to me. She always helped me with makeup there. And it's just such a smoothing primer. It's so good. It's it's so good. Like, honestly, it just makes your skin feel like a baby, like a baby's butt. <laughs> but it's so good. I love it. So, yeah. Um, so, now for foundation. I wasn't going to do foundation today because... I have been testing out a lot of foundations, but like since my skin's been doing a lot better, I was just like, what the hell? I just really want to use the Bare Minerals Stick Foundation again because I haven't used it since that first impressions get ready with me. And I know I might be a little bit repetitive of using the foundations on camera, but I really want to use this again. So this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick in the shade Opal 01. And when I tried it out the first time, I really did like it. So I'm going to try it out today. My hands feel so greasy from that primer. But this is so hydrating, you guys. I really like how it feels. So I'm just going to... And it blends out so easily. It blends out in like two seconds. But it's such a light foundation that it's like so easy to use. I think I need a little bit more. Why am I holding this? Like still holding the cap. Also don't mind this in my ear if you guys see that. Um, I think I need to get my ears re at some point. I think I got them pierced when I was around like 23, 24. Um, I just don't really wear earrings every single day like I used to. The only ones I really love wearing every single day are the ones that my boyfriend got me for Christmas from Tiffany's. Um, but when I wear those now, they like are too small. Sorry, excuse me. They're like too small. My, like, hole is too small for them. So it, like, hurts my ear, which obviously isn't good. So I probably need to go get them re-pierced at some point. I have to ask my friend Kate where she gets her piercings done. That would probably be the best place for me to go. I don't know why my nose has been so dry lately with stick foundations. I think it's just thick, but this foundation is so nice. Okay. Put on quite a bit under around my eyes. Usually I don't do that. Usually I just save that for concealer, but it's all right. Alright, so that's it for that. I'm just going to apply some to my chin. And this is a really good shade for me too. It like, doesn't really oxidize. It's really nice. It's just a really simple foundation to use. But I can feel like how matte it feels already. Alright, so that's it for that. Sorry, I keep on checking whether or not my boyfriend's going to text me and he has not texted me yet. So that is it for that. So now for the concealer. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. I did use this like a couple weeks ago on a Makeup and Chill Fridays when I used the Becca 
but I haven't used it since then because I've been using so many um, new concealers. So I'm just going to put this guy on. I think I'm going to start it underneath my eyes, which I usually don't typically do my under eyes first. You can put on as much as you want of this and it really won't look um, cakey whatsoever because it's a water-based concealer. So that's it for that. So let's blend it out underneath my eyes first. Because if I don't blend it out first, it can like be really watery and not blend that well. So you have to blend it out basically as soon as you put it on. But what the hell is calling me? I do not know that number. My hair drives me nuts. Like, literally drives me insane. I don't know if I'm going to run a couple of errands before I see him because this is starting to get ridiculous. And usually he picks me up on Fridays, but I get, like, super antsy when he doesn't answer me. So, it's just annoying. Like, I am such a reliable person. I don't flake out on people, and it just annoys me when people can't do the same thing for me. Like, he's my boyfriend. Like, obviously I'm going to see him, but it's just annoying when he takes this long to text me back. Like, I haven't heard from him since 1, 1 a.m. last night. Like, it's just annoying to me. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Oh, the concealer, like, really helped. My nose, that's good. All right, so that's it for that. I actually have not tried this concealer yet with the Thrive Cosmetics powder, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna use my favorite setting powder for underneath my eyes lately, and that's been this guy, and I'm just gonna take my setting brush from Real Techniques and set my under eyes. Oh, that looks really pretty. I feel like this powder is so light that like you can't really see it when you're setting your under eyes. Okay, so that's it for that. Oh, it looks so good. And, like, this is, like, the one powder that, like, doesn't settle into your fine lines. You don't really need to bake with it. You can just set it, and you're good to go. Oh, looks so good. Okay, so now I'm going to do my inner corners real quick. So we can just let that powder sit for, like, a minute or two. And then we'll do the lower lash line. So for the inner corners, I'm just going to take... Um, the shade dust right here and I'm gonna put that on my inner corners oh that shade is very glittery But it's really pretty. Can't even see it that well, to be honest. I was watching one of my older videos yesterday, and I can't believe that I even used to um, film in the bathroom. I'm like, Caitlin, it was it was amazing that people could even see what you were doing. Like, I've gotten so used to filming in my room now. It's like, how the heck did you film in the bathroom before that? Like, it's kind of crazy to me. Um, do I like how that looks? Just want a little bit on my finger. I feel like it never shows up properly unless I use my finger. I'm getting like a lot underneath my eyes. So it's just 
clean that up a little. Dang it, I got a lot of shimmer underneath my eyes. <sighs> Do I like that? I'm gonna use my pinky. Who is calling me? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, bye. I'll probably still be here. I heard you. I said bye. Jesus Christ. Sorry, my mom was saying bye to me and she annoyed me, so. Um, so now I'm going to do my lower lash line and I'm just going to take the two shades I used in my crease, Limit and Nooner, the two mattes. I'm just going to smudge those underneath my eyes. I'm going to do it really lightly. I don't really need too much. Just to add a tiny bit of definition, but I usually do it pretty, pretty lightly. But see how much it adds? So my mom and I watched Green Book on Wednesday night. It was so good. I don't know if I mentioned it in my first impressions video. I think because I was so into using the palette. I probably didn't mention it. But it was so good. Definitely deserved best picture. It was. It's about. Um, the musician. The heck is his name? Something Shirley. Ron Shirley? Don Shirley? Something like that. Um, he was a, a black pianist in the 1960s, and um, he dealt with a lot of racism um, going on tour for his music career. I'm just going to line my waterline with the nude MAC lip liner, MAC eyeliner lip liner in the shade Risque. Um, and Viggo Morrison plays his driver in the movie like he gets hired by him the black musician and he's an amazing pianist and he needs someone to drive him on tour in the south and basically he ends up being like more than just a driver like he's basically his bodyguard and it's basically that's what the whole movie is about he Vigo Morrison plays a um, Italian guy in the 1960s who like is very racist towards black people and um, Marshala is it Marsala Marshala Ali I think um, he plays the um, african-american pianist I just want to grab my powder while I'm talking about this um, so, and then I need to grab my blush bronzer highlight, but I just want to talk about it. Um, so I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild powder today. I just wanted to use a really light powder. And this is typically what I use. Um, I've been using the Thrive Cosmetics powder like every single day, but I kind of want to dip into some other powders the next day or two. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do for that. And it was just so good. It was such a good movie. Okay, so now we're going to do blush, bronzer, highlight. So for bronzer, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ticket to Brazil. I just really want to use it again. I know I've been using a lot of the same products, but this is all like newer stuff to me. So um, I want to use this guy today. And I really like this bronzer, so... I think it's just really simple and easy to use and you guys know how much I love those kind of bronzers. It's just a really good typical everyday bronzer. I think it builds up really nicely. Why is this one hair driving me nuts? 
Like, why is it just flying around? Just need a little bit more. But you guys know I like the slightest bit of bronzer. Like, I'm not really a huge bronzer person. I never really even wore bronzer before, like, a year or so ago. So I would only really contour. And now there's hair on my brush. I love this brush, though, for bronzer. This is a Real Techniques blush brush, but it is so good for bronzer. Like, the, one of the girls at Ulta recommended it to me for bronzer. So my mom was saying bye to me because she's going to pick up my dad's new car because my dad got into a car accident like a month, like a couple weeks ago. I just want to pick, picks. can you speak today? I just want to fix that, um, where is it? I want to fix that, uh, shimmer underneath my eyes real quick. Just want to put a little bit of powder there. I think it'll help a little because it's annoying me how much shimmer there is underneath there. All right, that's better. So now for blush, I'm just going to use the MAC uh, highlighting powder in the shade Floreal. This is actually really pretty as a blush, and I've only used it once, so I kind of want to use it today. And it's just a really light, pretty blush. Even though it's supposed to be a highlighting powder, I really like using it as a light pink blush. And you guys know, like I said, I basically only got this for the packaging. So I gotta use it somehow. It just like doesn't really do much though. I just don't know how this is a highlighting powder. Like, is it supposed to just, like, highlight underneath your eyes and stuff? Because it's not really a highlighter. Like, it really is super matte. So, I don't really know what they were going for with that. I feel like they kind of missed the mark a little bit. Okay, and now for a highlight, I'm going to go in with a really old school highlighter that I haven't used in a long time. And I just really wanted to use it today. So, this is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. This used to be one of my all-time favorites. It's, like, completely shattered. That's not even my fault, honestly. It was just the way that I would store it. It kind of just crumbled out of the pan. Like, I never even dropped this. But it kind of started getting crumbly from being stored that way. So, I kind of want to see if I still love it. This is one of the best highlighters ever. Oh. That is stunning. Oh my god. It's just so like... It applies like so creamily. It's so beautiful. Like that is stunning. So I was like, let me use a really old highlight. I don't even remember when I got this. I think I got it like two or three years ago. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that so pretty? I don't think I ordered this though. I think I got this at Kohl's. I don't think I've actually ever ordered anything off of the Bombs website. I think I've gotten every single Bomb product at, um, or the Bomb product at, um, Kohl's. Because it's not too far from me. It's like 15 minutes away. That is so stunning. I was thinking about applying something else over top of it but it's so beautiful by itself so we're just gonna leave it like that that is so pretty all right now i'm just gonna set my face with my milani make it last setting spray and then we're just gonna go and do some mascara once this is dry but i'm just going to take my brow products i'm gonna take this spoolie and just brush through them real quick and then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Brow Stylist, and I'm just going to set those. I don't do mascara with this um, mascara until the end because, like I said, it can transfer like crazy if you don't do it after your setting spray. So that's what I usually do. just going to pat that in a little bit. 
and it's a little bit wet still. All right, and then I'm just gonna grab my mascara real quick. All right, so now we're just gonna reapply the highlight real quick, but it's so stunning already that we probably don't need much more. But since I already set my face, you guys know I always like to apply a little bit more once I set it, but it is so pretty. Oh, Kirch. God, I gotta use that more. All right, so now for the mascara, I'm just gonna take the Wet n Wild Mega Length. I love this mascara, you guys. I've said this like a million times, but the only reason why it's not one of my all-time favorites is that it does, it's very wet. You have to be careful when applying it. So it's not exactly the best mascara when you're in a rush. That's why I only typically use it for Makeup and Chill Fridays because it's for my lazier days because it's such an easy mascara to apply to the top and bottom lashes. Like it does actually build up to be a freaking bomb ass mascara but it just is super wet. So you have to be careful. Like, it is so good. It reminds me of, like, a dupe for the Clinique Lash Power one. But that one's not half as wet as this one. Like, that one's a lot easier to apply, and you won't get any of that kind of transfer that you get with this one. God damn it. I'm already getting it underneath my eyes. Oh, actually, I didn't. Yeah, I did. I totally did. Good job, Caitlin. That wasn't even the mascara's fault. That was my fault. Okay, so that is it for the mascara. Let me just get it off my fingers a little. I don't know if that's gross or anything, but it's just me, like, wiping it off that way. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait till that dries. Um, so I'll fix that in a minute. Um, is there anything else I needed to do? Um, should I do my lips right now? He finally did actually text me, so, yeah. Um, so now we're going to do my lips. I just want to finish this, um, drink real quick and then we'll do my lips. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my lips. I'm going to take the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Lost in Love. Usually I typically don't do lip liner for these videos, but... I do find that they help with certain lipsticks, especially ones that are as creamy as the one I'm going to use. I'm just going to line my lips with that. Just really lightly. If this even has any product on it, because I feel like I have to sharpen it. I don't think I've sharpened this since I actually got it, so... So I'm going in with a really frosty pink. I really just want to go in with a nude. Like something that's really similar to the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. because This is so pretty. Do I want to use this color? I just want to see real quick if I really want to use it. It's so pink. I might just lighten it up with a gloss. So I'm going to use the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick in the shade Sugar Cane. I just really need to whip out my Bite Beauty lip lipsticks again and use them. So I'm going to use this one. It's just so pink. 
pink. I don't know if I want to use this one today. It's just too pink for me. I think I know which one I want to use today. Sorry. <laughs> I love you, Bite, but I think I know what lipstick I want to use today. Hold on one second. I think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use this one. This one's like the most similar to what I'm wearing on my lips and I think it'll be really pretty with this look. I'm going to use Lime Crimes Unicorn Lipstick in the shade Eraser. And this is what I was going for more. just want to line my lips a little bit more after wiping that off. I just didn't want something so pink. Yeah, that's more what I'm going for today. I haven't used this lipstick in a while either, so. Yeah, that's what I wanted to use. That's so much pretty. I mean, I love the, the bite one, but this is so pretty with this look. Why is that so dry? <sighs> yeah, that's really pretty. Alright you guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. Here are the eyes. The cheeks. And the lips. I really like forgot how much I love this Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. It really is a beautiful neutral palette. Um, the blush, I'm still like kind of on the fence about it. I was going to add a gloss over this lip, but do you think I should add a gloss? I think I should add a gloss. I think it's a little bit too peachy pink for me and I feel like I need to tone it down just a little bit. So I'm going to just take my favorite gloss of all time. I'm just going to take the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb and Fussy. And I'm going to put that over top. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, I like deep peachified it a little bit. I love this gloss. It's so beautiful. I was really tempted to pick up the original one yesterday, but I think I'm just going to wait. Because I'm pretty much on a no-buy for the rest of Oh my god, look how much that added. Like... I love this gloss. I love this gloss. It's so beautiful. So the the blush, I don't know, like, I, I just feel like this MAC uh, highlighter is not even, like, pigmented enough to be a highlight and, or even, like, remotely shiny enough to be a highlighter. What is going on with my hair now? Um, the Mary Luminizer, I forgot how beautiful this is. It's freaking stunningly, stunningly gorgeous. It applies so beautifully, like, and of course I love the Wet n Wild mascara and the buzz color on my lid is gorgeous, but this is the only thing I really, like, don't love. Um, I love the foundation. The foundation looks great. Just want to pat that in a little bit and underneath my eyes because I did fix up the mascara a little bit. I feel like the um, concealer is creasing a little bit, but it looks great underneath here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go. So I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really like how this look turned out. I don't want to apply more Fenty Beauty, but just wanted to blend it in a tiny bit there. There we go. So that's it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. This, these are the final lips.
See how like plump and juicy the gloss makes it look like this is stunning. These are really, really amazing. Like these are hyped up and talked about so much for a reason. They are an amazing gloss formula. Um, and it smells so good. So yeah, that's it, you guys. So please like and, subscri and subscribe. I cannot speak anymore. Follow me on all my social media. I love you guys. Um, and I will, um, I should be recording another Makeup Until Fridays next weekend, but this one won't be up until next week. Um, because I just posted the first impressions, um, Makeup and Chill Fridays today, so this one will be up next week. So yeah, um, but I will use the Beauty Bakery palette tomorrow and let you guys know my thoughts of it when I haul it. Um, I'm just waiting for my Lime Crime order still. Um, it still said that USPS is awaiting the item. So, like I said, my boyfriend finally texted me, like, 20 minutes ago, so hopefully I will be out of here at some point, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So bye.